Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to email me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past. If you have any video that you think you would like me to make, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, this picture is the Stonehenge moment for me this year. I took this about two weeks ago when the sun fall directly on the road that I normally go for my morning walk. Uh, this morning, I received an email from Bob. Uh, she was a viewer and I proudly call her my friend. She was a wonderful person. Uh, she told me this morning she make a fire rice that she called it the golden fire rice. And she suggested that maybe I should make such a video for people on my channel. Now it turned out that actually I have made this golden fire rice for quite some time and I stopped making it <laughs> because my wife doesn't like it. And I will explain to you why she did not like it. But I personally like it because it's a very efficient way to make fried rice. In fact, this fried rice is one of my favorite fried rice. It is a ham fried rice with uh, different vegetables. I cooked this dish in my 16-inch carbon steel wok. I really like this wok because of its size. I seasoned the wok with my smart seasoning method uh, to create a non-stick cooked surface. Uh, in this particular dish, I decided I'm going to use some onion to cook this dish, and partly because I have some onion on hand and I would like to use it up. So the first thing I want to do is to stir fry the onion, uh, to soften the onion a little bit uh, before I'm going to add the rice. This dish is very fast to cook, and in order for the onion to have the texture that I want, I want to stir fry it first uh, before I add the rice. Uh, this will give the onion a head start. Now it's quite often when you cook a fried rice, particularly if the dish can be cooked very quickly, anything that requires pre-cooking, such as onion in this case, as well as uh, meat such like as chicken, you should always cook them first uh, before you start making the fried rice. Okay, now the onion is pretty much ready. I'm going to add about uh, 3 cups of rice. Uh, to break up the rice, I use a, uh, what is known as a hamburger meat smasher. And this actually is not designed for breaking up rice, but it turned out to be wonderful for this particular purpose. I used to use a wash spatula to break up the rice, and I tend to make a lot of mess all over on the kitchen counter. Uh, now I'm going to move rice uh, to the peripheral, and I'm going to create a well in the center of the rice. I'm going to add a little bit more oil uh, to the center of the rice. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to fry three eggs in the middle of the walk. Now, nowadays I do not make this fried rice too often because now I usually fry the egg first because my wife likes to have the egg that she can taste. For this particular fried rice, you really cannot taste the egg very much at all and I'll explain to you the reason why. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to crack three eggs uh, directly into the center of wok uh, in that space I have just cleared. As you can see that obviously the wok is hot. As soon as I add the egg to it, uh, the egg whites start to cook almost uh, immediately. Now uh, I do want the egg whites to cook a little bit because uh, I want the egg white to have some substance to add to the uh, flavor of the fried rice. But I do not want the egg yolk to cook because I'm going to break up the egg yolk and mix the egg yolk with the rice. Now, if you wonder why this fried rice is called golden fried rice, this is the reason. Uh, because the egg yolk is going to wrap the rice and give the rice a golden color. Uh, the next is I'm going to add some frozen vegetables. I take it directly out from the freezer. It is not necessary for me to thaw them out uh, because they will warm up in when I'm making the fried rice. The fruits and vegetable mix actually turned out to be perfect for making a fried rice. Uh, not only that they provide a, a good dose of vegetables, but they also provide excellent color uh, to the fried rice. As you can see that now the rice took on a golden yellow color uh, because it is being wrapped by the egg yolk. Uh, this actually is a very efficient way to cook fried rice uh, because you save the time for cooking the egg separately and the egg are being used to wrap around the fried rice. I'm going to make this a ham fried rice. Actually, it turned out to be one of my favorite fried rice. I love this particular ham for making fried rice. This ham actually comes from a can. Now, um, 
I tend to use this hem much better because it has a lot of moisture. It's better than any other hem that I have used in the past. I do not use this hem for any other purpose other than to use it to make this fried rice. I bought this hem from the Audi and it's very inexpensive. I think it costs only about $3 for a one pound can. For many years, this is my go-to way to cook fried rice. I learned this fried rice when I was working in a Chinese restaurant as a cook uh, during the year between my undergraduate and my graduate school. And uh, the reason that they use this particular method because it's very efficient. Uh, you do not have to have an extra bowl to beat up your rice. All you have to do is to drop the rice in the middle of the wok after you're creating a well. After frying the egg whites for about 10 to 15 seconds, then you mix the rice with the egg. In this case, the egg yolk will coat the rice, and consequently, is that it will give the rice a slight gold color. Now, at the time, I didn't realize that it is called golden fried rice. I only realized that it is an efficient way to cook fried rice. And later on, I was talking to a friend of mine, then he told me that uh, this is a very traditional way to cook fried rice in certain part of uh, Guangdong province in China. And the reason they call it golden fried rice, in this case, uh, the egg yolk would give the rice that color. Now, in this particular case, you really cannot see the color very well because I have all the other ingredients in it. But the important thing you notice is that you cannot taste the egg at all because the egg basically has integrated into the rice and the egg has been used to coat the rice. Now, the rice does have a little bit more, I would call it a, a softer texture because of the coating of the egg. Now, I cooked this fried rice for most of my life uh, until one day my wife said to me, I don't like this fried rice. And I asked her why you didn't like it because she said, I cannot taste the egg. I really like the texture of the egg in a fried rice. So I changed my method. So now I will cook the egg first uh, to make sure that the egg is well cooked. And then I will then add the rice so that now the egg will have a distinct flavor. I seasoned this fried rice uh, using my uh, Walk with Tuck basic seasoning mix because this fried rice is already rich in flavor with the onion, uh, with the mixed vegetables and the ham. So uh, I want something that is really mild. Uh, I have this seasoning mix on Amazon that you can give it a try and I have the link below the video. Okay, a quick few stir, the rice is ready to serve. Uh, this fried rice is probably the most efficient way to cook fried rice because it takes only about six minutes to cook. Now, when I cook the fried rice the other way, uh, I cook the egg separately and I stir fry the egg to create the texture that I want. Uh, in this case, I'll probably add about two minutes. However, if you are like my wife, who would love the flavor of the egg uh, in the fried rice, and she won't be able to taste it, and if that is the case, then this is definitely not the way how you want to make your fried rice. However, when I either run out of time or I'm being too lazy, I will make the fried rice using this method. But of course, then she will ask me, did you put any eggs in it? Well, I confess that I did, but I did not fry the egg separately. I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. With the fast cooking system, it will make your home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like me to provide you a recipe for this fried rice dish, please email me. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.